stand here. And remission of sins. Somebody need to repent right now. Oh, yes. You done overspoke your mouth. That's right. Is that right? Oh, yes. You done overspoke your tongue. Amen. Something you can't tame and you thought you had it under control, but your tongue that's in your mouth will set on hellfire. Is that's that right. right? That's right. You can't tame it. No. Amen. If you don't get God power in you, you can't control that old tongue. You cannot. Is, is that right? You cannot. That old tongue will push people and going to condemn some people according to the words of God. Amen. And they're going to be dumped in hell. That's right. But by the words, they're going to be justified. By the words, they're going to be condemned. Damn. What is it doing? It that tongue. Yes. That's right. In the day of judgment. Is That's that right. what he said, read it? But the, James 3 and 8. But the tongue can no man tame. All right. It is an unruly evil. Oh, that tongue, something, that tongue. Yeah, nobody can tame that old tongue. Amen. We talk nice this moment and the next moment we curse it. <laughs> is that right? Say something nice and now you're saying something evil the very next minute. Do I have some witness in here? Oh, yeah. That's right. You don't have to admit it. I know I have some. That's right. Is that right? I know I have some. That's right. So I have to continue to tell you what you ought to do to enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Is that right? Amen. What did it say, Rita? But the tongue can no man tame. You can't tame that old tongue. It is an unruly evil. It is as unruly as could be. Full of deadly poison. See, I, I thought the serpent... That around snake was full of deadly <laughs> venom. Is that right? Full of deadly poison. The Bible says your tongue, your tongue is worse than that snake tongue. That's right. Is, is that right? That's right. There with bless we God. Those things come out of his mouth. Oh my God. So we bless God. Even the Father. Even the Father. And therewith curse we men. Then we're going to curse a man. Which are made after the similitude of God. He made like God. But you're going to curse him out. Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing. You hear this? Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing. And cursing. And cursing. My brethren. My brethren. These things ought not so to be. Let's don't do these things. Amen. That's right. Ask God to help you to bridle that tongue. That's right. Isn't that right? Matthew. So, so you can be saved. That's right. Matthew 12. And 36. All right. But I say unto you. I say unto you. That every idle word. That men shall speak. Look out. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Amen. That's right. Better watch our words. Those words, see, I'm, I'm telling you about the entrance into it. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Read, for, reader. For by thy words. For by thy words. Thou shalt be justified. You going to be justified by those things that you are saying. And by thy word, and by thy word, thou shalt be condemned. Then to come along and condemn. Amen. Why? You bless a while and you curse a while. That's right. That That's right. Be. That's <laughs> right. That right. That's what the word say. Out of Amen. the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing. You, you don't. You don't have sweet water come out the fountain, <laughs> and bitter water is either sweet or bitter. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Doth the fountain send forth at the same place sweet water? No. And bitter? No. Can the fig tree? Oh, can the fig tree? My brother. My brother. Bear olive berries? By bear olive berries? Either a vine, Either figs? Vine, figs? So can no fountain? So can no fountain? Listen now. Both yield salt water and fresh. Ah, uh, you can't do James, both of them. Three and eleven. You can't do both of them. Mm -hmm. If you cuss this mo moment and you hate <laughs> yeah. this moment and you love the next moment, that hate can make you be dumped in hell. Yes, sir. Amen. You can't do it. That's you're right. one or the other. And if you're not good, you're evil. That's right. Lord, have mercy. That's on right. Us. That's right. Is that right? So I had to be good to make it into God's kingdom. Amen. What you mean good? Obey the word of God. That's right. As Jesus said, repentance and remission of sin should Amen. be preached in his name amongst all, all nations. nations. I, I'm, I'm showing you an interest here now. Amen. Amen. Amongst all nations. That's right. Beginning at Jerusalem. Yes. That's right. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and Jesus helped the people so he, he led them out as far as Bethlehemity and he lifted up his hands and he blessed them. Didn't he read it? Amen. He blessed the people. That's right. And he 
Luke 24 and 50, and he led them out as far as Bethany. Yes. And he lifted up his hands and blessed them. He blessed them. And it came to pass. It came to pass. While he blessed them. While he blessed them. He was parted from them. Look at here. What, what he told them before he parted. And that repentance. Yes, sir. Uh, there you go, Rita. Let me know. You're backing me up now. Luke 24, 4. That's seven. it. So that what Peter was trying to do. And for 2 Peter here. 2 Peter 1 and 12. Same thing. Repentance. That's right. Read it. Wherefore, I will not be negligent uh -huh. to put you always in remembrance of these things. All right. Though ye know them. Though you know them. And be established in the present and, truth. And you established in the truth. <clears throat> I'm still have to preach repentance to you. Yes. When you're speaking in tongues. I'm going to say repent. That's right. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. 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 Read on. Yea, I think it meet. Yeah, I think it meet. As long as I am in this tabernacle. As long as I'm in this tabernacle. To stir you up by putting you in remembrance. I'm going to make you remember what you ought to do. Knowing that shortly. Knowing that shortly. I must put off this, my tabernacle. I'm gonna, all that's going to die. Even as our Lord Jesus Christ hath showed me. Yes. Moreover, I will endeavor. No more I will endeavor that you may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance. Oh, look at this. I'm going to work on it. You keep it in remembrance like you do your language, which you talk. Yeah, Does anybody man. have to remind you how to speak English now? No. no. You keep it in remembrance. Is yeah. that right? You know. Although we break it all up, but that's all right. We can, we can bring it across where you can understand. Is that right? <laughs> Oh, you know what we are saying. Why? You understand your language. English. Amen. amen. I, I, is that right? Amen. Somebody say ant. Well, that's all right. You understand when somebody say ant. Yeah. Is that right? I don't understand that. Well, you understand. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Don't get all set yet now. We can speak it good enough. We remember good enough how to tell you what you ought to do. Is that right? Amen. You can remember that's a repentance. And that that's repentance. It. Look out. And remission of sins should be preached amongst all nations. Amen. That's what we want to do right now. People, you don't have to take it, but God knows it's true. Oh, yes. It's the word. The word is the only thing that's going to help you today. Amen. And it's got to come through repentance. That's right. And remission of sins in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's the word. And yet the apostle pre preaching it, that's right? That's right. That's right. Jesus told him before he left, before he departed, prayed for him. Mm -hmm. And here Peter, in 2 Peter, he's still preaching it. That's right. They're telling the people how to come into God. Amen. And they heard it before. And they said, Peter, you, you preached that yesterday. Oh, Peter probably say, I'm preaching it again to you. Mm -hmm. Is that right? As long as I'm in this tabernacle, what did it say, Rita? Yeah, I think it meet. First Peter 1 and 13. All second, right. Second Peter, Second Peter. 1 and 13. All right. Yeah, I think it meet. I, I think this thing is all right to do here. As long as I am in this tabernacle. All right. To stir you up by putting you in remembrance. Stir you up. Make you remember. Is that right? Yes. Amen. When you, when you want to remind your child of a whooping, what you do, all you have to do is pop the whip. They know what you mean. They know what you're doing. They know what's that let them on them. Uh -huh. When they cut up and do things and you give them that eye. Uh -huh. Every parent can give their child an eye. Every one. Oh yeah. And those, listen, those children know when mom and dad give them that certain eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. God knows all of us. Is that right? Amen. When you do wrong, God has to give us that eye. Isn't that right? So you know. That's right. What you ought to do. What brings that? The true word of God. Amen. This word that I'm speaking in the name of Jesus Christ is the word that amen will tell you what you ought to do. And when you're wrong, this word will give you that eye. Is that right? Hebrew 4, 12. Amen. This word will give you the eye. Because why? The word knows everything. That's right. We can't get over on the word of God. The word know all about it. Is that right? That's right. What did he say, read it? Hebrews 4 and 12. Uh-huh. For the word of God is quick. Now, look at this word. 
how are we going to get over the word? Cannot. Same word being spoken to you now. How are you going to escape it? Read it, read it. For the word of God is quick. Word of God is quick. And powerful. It's powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Now, this word is sharp here. What did it do? Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. This word will tell you what's that evil in your mind. It'll tell you all about it. Uh -huh. And it'll tell you the intent of it. That's the word. That's how quick it is. That's how powerful it is. Read. And of the joints and marrow. And of the joints and the marrow. And is a discerner. You hear what this word saying? Of the thoughts. If you have thoughts of selling cocaine and marijuana, yeah, go to word tell you, stop doing it. Amen. All right? That's you have right. Thoughts of stealing and robbing, here come the word tell you, stop doing it. Mm -hmm. Say, I ain't doing it. The word say you're doing it. Is that right? Yeah. The word say you committing adultery. Yeah. Word say you committing fornication. Amen. The word says it. Amen. Is that right? Surely. Amen. Is that right? Amen. What does it say, read it? And of the joints and marrow. Yes. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see what this is? Neither is there any creature. How can we hide from this word? You hide and do your dirt. But the word looking at you. Yes, sir. And I guarantee in the day of judgment, mm -hmm. all this is coming forth. Amen. I is that right? That's right. All of it. Amen. All of it is coming forth. Is that that? Second Corinthians 17, 5. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Doesn't matter what people say. Here come the word. Is that right? Now all I am is just an ambassador for Christ Jesus. I had the same mind. So the same mind is supposed to tell you the same thing. Is that right? Which is the spirit of God. That's right. Is that right? What does it say, read it? 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. All right. For we must all appear uh -huh. before the judgment seat of Christ. What y'all say about this? It's true. Amen. Amen. What did you say about this? That's right. What did you say about this? You going before the judgment seat of Christ. Is that right? Amen. And what's going to happen? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ mm -hmm. that everyone that everyone may receive the things done in his body. All right. According to that he hath done. You see this? Whether it be good or think, bad. Think about that evil run through your heart for envy uh -huh. or strife uh -huh. or wrath and here come the word tell you to love everybody. Amen. That's I right. can't satisfy myself. May God bless you. May you have repentance and remission of sin in the name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. You have been listening to the Whole Truth Program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church and the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated located in Hartsville, South Carolina with Bishop Josie Tinsley as Pastor Gerald Seal. Tune in again to hear the word of God preached in his fullness. Yeah. Yeah.